Hello, Anik here and today I thought we'd do something slightly different. I'm playing Raft and I thought I'd show you how to get every single item or material and even an update on how they can be used. Now it took me a hell of a long time to make this video and if you look in the description down below I've timestamped every single item so if there's a specific item that you're wondering how to get or where to find it then just look at the timestamps down below give it a click and it'll take you straight to that point in the video. Um, if you learnt anything new at all or you enjoyed the video feel free to leave a like down below. Uh, like I say it took me a hell of a long time to make it so I hope you enjoy it. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing then is planks. Now this is probably one of the most abundant things you can get it from. Throwing your hook out and dragging them in, you can use planks for many different things and you're going to be using these for most of your builds to be fair. Um, they stack in piles of 20 in your inventory. Um, as, you, as I mentioned before you can even hit trees and get planks as well as other things as well. Um, one of the most important things so stock up on these because you run out of these really really quickly and you might think I've got a full inventory but I guarantee after a couple of raft upgrades you're going to destroy your inventory anytime you get the opportunity get them the next one then plastic plastic comes in a couple of different varieties it doesn't matter what the size of the plastic is it only gives you one plastic's mainly used for expanding your raft so the bottom of your raft obviously needs plastic to make the wood float um, and that's mainly what you use it for. You obviously use it for a few other builds as well like water bottles and stuff like that. The next one then is palm leaves. You get palm leaves in the ocean, you can get clusters of three as you can see here which obviously gives you three or you can just get single ones out in the ocean as well. You can also get them from hitting trees as you can imagine, palm trees. Um, they can be used to make rope as well. Um, this is the only way apart from barrels you can get rope but if you just go on any build, as you see here, and just click on the little plus sign, as long as you've got palm leaves in your inventory, you can make rope. And there you go, that's a, that's a two for one right there. Both stack in stacks of 20 again. So, as I mentioned before, you do find crates around and you do get quite good items depending on the crate. So, as you can see here, this is probably the best crate you can get. And you get, well, what did I get there? Vine Girl, Metal Ignus, all sorts of stuff. If you're not looking to find one of these crates, I'm going to show you how to get the other things anyway. There is other ways to collect things as well, and it's by using these nets. And as your raft is travelling through the ocean, it automatically catches these, uh, well, anything what you find floating. So, plastic, palm leaves, planks... Obviously it catches barrels as well and in barrels you do get some decent stuff if you're lucky as well. Let's see what I get in this. Uh, planks, plastic, rope. Um, it is possible to get scrap out of there as well but if you're not lucky enough remember I'm going to show you how to get that as well. So let's move on to the next thing then. And the next thing is food. Now food is very important in Raft and on any size island you'll always find a couple of watermelons. As you can see they usually come in pairs same as pineapples they usually come in pairs as well so if you haven't found them yet just keep looking they'll be there um, there these are underneath the palm tree uh, you can also hit the palm trees and get coconuts out of there you, there's even some little mango trees that you can hit and get some mangoes off the trees as well so as long as you find an island you should be fine for food and while we're on an island we'll start searching underwater so as you can see there's some clay here clay and sand looks very similar but this is what clay looks like in your inventory uh, there's quite a few more things you find under and remember you do need a hook to gather some of these as well so there's also some stones which looks kind of like clay but obviously you get a bit more of a shine to it just just hit it if you don't need it you can throw it away and um, you can find stones on bigger islands as well um, another thing you find is obviously scrap scrap comes in many different forms but it doesn't matter which uh, which one you gather you always get one scrap so just look out for them scraps kind of important especially in later game you do need it to make some of the good weapons so gather it whenever you get the opportunity um, another thing is seaweed and you use this to make vine goo vine goo is basically like a glue that you need to put into a furnace we'll cover this a little bit later on uh, just so you're aware of how it works and all you need to do is find some seaweed that's glowing um, if you go in dusk it's easier to find which is why I'm gathering in dusk here and that's what it looks like um, kind of important but don't go out your way because it's very abundant so another thing underwater then and this is metal 
Now, metal tends to grow on the sides of things, as you can see here. The chrome, really metal-y stuff here is um, metal ore, and you use metal ore to put into the furnaces, and this makes um, little metal ignots, which you can use for many, many different things. Again, metal ignots is more of an end game kind of thing, uh, and this is what it looks like in your inventory. Metal ore can't be used by itself, it has to be furnished first. So while we're still underwater, I'll show you what sand looks like. It's slightly more difficult to see, but it is a slightly different colour, and as you can see, it blends in quite well. This is what sand looks like. You can use sand to make glass, um, you need it for a couple of other things like making clay bricks and that's what it looks like um, Not that important. So don't prioritize gathering this um, it stacks in blocks of 20 as well So another thing then while we're under is while we're covering metal is you'll also find this slightly off colored ignits and that is actually copper So there is a color difference, but they grow in the same places copper generally grows a little bit deeper but don't take my word for that as you can see I've just found this copper in really shallow water so um, that's what it looks like in the inventory again that's how you get copper ignits you have to blast furnace it first and you'll get copper ignits used to make batteries and other electronic stuff um, you do get clams as well underwater to make birds nests to collect eggs and feathers uh, you don't actually need a hook to gather these you can literally just pick them up um, very very simple and this is what it looks like in your inventory and again the clam can't be used by itself but it can be used when I think you need planks or something like that to make a nest as you can see here um, if you don't need feathers and you don't need eggs then you can wait for a seagull to land like I've just done here harvest the seagull and you do get food as well Obviously you could do with cooking the food first, but there you go. Uh, be careful with the bird's nest not to get too close when there's a bird on it if you do want feathers or eggs. For the very simple reason you'll scare the bird away and then you'll have to wait for another one to land. So it's good practice to put the bird's nest quite far away or build like a little area of the raft that you don't go near. So we've covered three in one here. We've covered how to get feathers, how to get eggs and how to get drumsticks. Now there is another way to get eggs and if you're lucky enough to get one of these little fellas that you, use, uh, that you use a net catcher to catch, these lay eggs as well. All you have to do is put some grass plots down so they eat the grass and you get nice little eggs out of them. So there you go, three in one. So the next thing then is the furnaces. Now I am going to show you how to make the bricks but in the meantime I'm going to melt some items down so you can see what they create. So the first thing is sand. All you have to do is make sure it's stocked up with a wood and weight and this will create glass and you can use glass to make water purifiers a couple of other things but there you go that's mainly what it's used for again you don't really use too much of glass so don't don't prioritize getting loads and loads of glass you don't need it the next thing then copper ignats um, this is really easy to see when it's finished apart from the flame going out because it lays flat when you pick it up it makes a copper ignite used to make batteries, electronics, circuit boards, that sort of stuff. So you do need copper, especially for the batteries. The batteries do wear out. So another thing then is metal ore. This is identical to copper in every way apart from the metal ore is used to make different things and copper is used to make different things. That, that's the only difference really. And this is what the metal ore looks like. Uh, you do need metal or a hell of a lot more than copper so do prioritize getting more metal than copper uh, one more thing then is the seaweed remember i said it makes vine goo if you just drop the seaweed in it doesn't look like that's going to make too much vine goo but it does it fills up the whole bowl for some unknown reason <laughs> but there you go um the vine goo is like a glue you can use it to make flippers um th there's lots of stuff you you need vine goo for um and it does come into its own later on in the game when you're crafting so there's a few things you can make out of scrap remember how it says get as much scrap as you need well you need it to make nails so nails is good for making uh, beams and other wooden objects fences gates that sort of thing um, you can use the metal ignits to make bolts again bolts is used for like high quality fishing rods and a few other bits and bobs um, so they're kind of important you do find them in the barrels as well and you can also make hinges they're good for the chests as you can see on the right hand side of the screen the big chests can store a hell of a lot more than the little plastic ones and in my opinion they look much better as well so um, it's probably best to make 
quite a lot of big wooden chests and that's mainly what you need hinges for so wet bricks then this is very important to make the furnaces you do need sand and clay so early game you do need a lot of sand and clay craft a load of wet bricks and all you need to do and this catches a lot of people out is place the wet bricks on the floor don't keep them in your inventory and wait for them to dry because they won't dry put the wet bricks anywhere doesn't matter you're not going to trip over them they're not going to get in the way and it's just a waiting game and then when they are dry after a short while pick them up and it creates a dry brick as you can see and you do need dry bricks to make the furnaces so early on in the game you want to try and get the furnaces uh, the furnaces together as fast as possible so some items you can only get from green and blue islands so the green islands is the islands that you don't need the code for and the blue islands is the islands you do need the code for that's in your handbook so we're going to go for soil now you can get soil from blue and green islands you do need a shovel in order to get the uh, to get the soil but all you're going to be looking for is a cave now on a lot of these islands there is pigs there is little uh, i like to call them tuk tuk birds um, the drop stuff on your head so be careful not to stand on it because it will injure you and all you're looking for is little caves and as you can see there's little mounds of dirt here and you do need a shovel to shovel the dirt up you can use the dirt to make grass plots for your animals which is uh, very important if you want stuff like wool or uh, milk or even eggs if you haven't got any birds nest yet um, in the caves you also get these mushrooms as well so it's a nice two for one for you here um, the mushrooms you do need little uh, ingredient cards that you can get and it tells you how to cook certain things and you put each item on and cook it in the pots and stuff um, but there we go so the next thing then what you get on green islands I've never actually seen it on uh, blue islands but it's puffer fish and this is pretty much stage one into capturing some um, animals so you do need the puffer fish explosive goo the easiest way I've found to kill a puffer fish is three shots with high quality arrows and it kills them so if you find one swim backwards fire a shot swim backwards fire a shot keep doing that and um, and you're laughing like I say you only need three shots and then you can harvest them and in the bottom right there you can see there's some explosive goo now this is different to vine goo in the sense that this isn't already cooked you have to actually turn this into a powder um, so it is a little bit different you can't use it raw you have to put it in a furnace so let's do it then so you put the explosive goo into the furnace and then all you're doing is just waiting same as any other and once it's finally finished you'll get this which is explosive powder and explosive powder is used to make the the ammunition for the animal catchers easy as that once you've mastered how to do this you can capture any animal or as many animals as you want apart from pigs don't try and capture pigs or bears even there's bears in the game now so we're going to try and capture an animal here um, i hope it works so again you use the explosive powder to make the net catchers put the net catchers inside your little gun and there's a little llama here so let's chase it around the easiest way i found is wait until it runs at you and it's running away and then fire don't try and get it left to right or right to left or try and get a nice straight line um, it'll pin it to the floor pick it up take it back and make sure you've got a little fenced off area inside your raft or it's not going to work and the lamb is going to fall off the raft and you're never going to see it again so it is important to make sure you've already got an area for it before you capture the animal and don't drop the animal on the island either because it'll run around like a mad head again and you have to run around and catch it uh, you don't need a net catcher to catch the animal the second time uh, once you've already caught it and you accidentally let it go but you, you do have to run and try and find it and there you go that, that's pretty much it you can also name the animals as well if you want to um, all you need to do is make sure they've got grass down and llamas create wool so let's move on to the next thing then so we've got shears and you need the shears to gather the wool um, you do need metal ignits and stuff to make the shears uh, but once you've got them you're laughing and it will gather about 20 wool before you need to renew the shears and all you're doing is clicking to uh, gather the wool and that's it. it's as simple as that you can 
use the wool to make armor um, bags all sorts of stuff um, you do need leather as well and the easiest way I found for leather is to kill a pig um, it is kind of annoying to kill the pigs because they run at you and it is, it's a bit of a kerfuffle but you do get leather out of them you also get little pig steaks as well steaks of meat um, you get the exact same thing from pigs as you do bears so if you feel more inclined to kill a bear then um, you can go for that as well but you do need leather to make um, the armor and the backpacks and stuff like that so another thing then is silver algae this is a big one and I've only found it on green islands um, really rare I've only ever found I mean I've been lucky once and I found two silver algae on one island I don't know if anyone's been as lucky as that um, but you use that to make really good um, meals another thing used to make meals on the green islands is the berries the berries tend to grow at the top of the very top of the island so you do need to get up the island um, dodge the tuk tuk bird and you will get berries and you can use these in your ingredients as well and um, it actually gives you loads and loads of health so now I will show you a couple of little bonus things especially with a new update and this is how you make biofuel so you're doing a little refiner thing you can put any raw food in there from potatoes eggs fish you name it put it in there you also need honey as well and this is what a lot of people forget you get honey from the blue bear island um, it's on the trees and once you drop both things in there you will start creating it and it doesn't overflow or anything like that don't worry it automatically stops and it gives you a little bit of biofuel and all you do then is put the biofuel inside your biofuel storage tank that's connected to your um, engines and if you connect one tank to both engines both engines will run off of that tank so just keep it topped up but worst case scenario you can put planks in your engines as well so don't worry too much about it so thanks for watching uh, if you enjoyed it and you learned anything new feel free to leave a like and if there's anything I missed or anything you want to see more of feel free to let me know and I'll get straight on it so thank you